Everybody good? All right, check the feed. Let me know when we live. I forgot yours on lock in the back. Okay. All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, as always, we're giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Akapadash. Hey, double honors to our teachers, the Apostle Nels of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, faith and diligence. With fear and trembling through the spirit of power, you come by Shem, Yahweh Shah, Shalom, and hopefully the believers that subscribe to this truth, right, wholeheartedly. Yahweh is the true name of our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah. Is the name of his only begotten son, and our Lord and Savior, whom the world we know is Jesus Christ. All right, by Hashem, is in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, and it's the inspiration given to us to come out, all right, and, and preach this word, all right, in season, out of season. All right, it's the power that's bestowed upon us, all right, to be able to understand the mysteries written within the contents of the Holy Bible, man. Okay, because this Bible is the power that's tearing down Babylon the Great, AKA America today, right? We're gonna get into, you know, some of these things uh, written in the scriptures, Lord, will you be edified as you see the title of the live, our power is undeniable, okay? So we're gonna get Isaiah 46, Father one. nine. This is Isaiah chapter 46, verse nine. Remember the former things of old, for I am the most high, and there is none else. I am the most high, and there is none like me. Go ahead. Declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Right, the most high said his counsel shall stand, and he shall do all his pleasure. Okay, he declares the uh, end from the beginning, all right? So he tells you what's going to happen before it, before it happens. That's the power that he's revealed unto his servants, the prophets. Brothers, give me Amos the third chapter. And there, uh, go ahead and read that in the NLT. What you just read, read it in the NLT. This is Isaiah chapter 46, verse 9. Remember the things I have done in the past, for I alone am the most high. I am... I am the most high and there is none like me. Right, the most high said there is no power like him. He alone is, is, is the supreme power of the earth. There is no other power with him. Okay. Only I can tell you the future before it even happens. Only the most high can tell you the future before it happens, man. Okay? So these guys, you, you know, you see out here these false prophets, these soothsayers, all right, these warlocks, these witches, these so-called uh, psychics, right? They don't have any true power. The true power is our power, the Hawk Bash and Yahweh Shai, and only he can tell you the future, man. Go ahead. Everything I plan will come to pass. Everything the most high plans will come to pass, man. There's not one prophecy in the scripture that's not gonna come to pass if it hasn't already come to pass, and if we're not already living presently in the prophecy that's written, man. Okay? He only shares those things that he uh, has written in the scriptures with his elect, all right, the initiated. It's a, it's a private sector of men on the earth that the Lord shares this special power with, man. Right? All right, we're going to get it. Is this more there? Yes, a little bit more. All right, go ahead. For I do whatever I wish. The Lord said he does whatever he wishes. And if you finish that, go to Isaiah 55, man. Right? This is Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, would do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Right, so the spirit that we were speaking about in the introduction of the lesson, the Holy Spirit, is where the Lord gives us his secrets, all right? The Holy Spirit is what? The spirit of understanding, the spirit of truth, okay? Because this Bible was written in a way for it to be a major stumbling block to all those that are not of his elect, okay? That's, that's, the, that's, that's the power of this very word. This very word, as much as it is a, a, a sure foundation to stand on, it's a major stumbling block. The uh, majority of the, of, the, of the masses of the people on the earth cannot get over that. 
right? Because they don't have the spirit of your heart and your heart was shot dwelling within them. Okay? Now this is Isaiah 42 and 9. Yep. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things do I declare. New things does the Lord declare. Look up that word declare. Yep. It said before they spring forth, I tell you. The Lord there. said before the things spring forth, he tells us about it, man. All right? The Lord uh, uh, the, the America uh, was prophesied to come in the power in the scriptures, man. All right? You're going, you're going to Revelations, okay? And it talks about the beast, the seven heads, all right? And the ten horns, and the eighth is of the seven, all right? It said one, as a matter of fact, jump to it real quick. Jump to it real quick. Read your precept again. It's Isaiah 42. And now, behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Uh-huh. Yep. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. So a, 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 a case in point example is, uh, 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 did you say? No, it's in uh, Revelation. Yeah, the, when it talks about the seven heads, uh, one is of the, uh, in the eighth, one is not yet. So this kingdom was prophesied to come into power before it ever came into power, man. You know? What is it, Revelation 20? I got the word declare to it. Okay, go ahead with the word declare. They declare the Hebrew, the God, the God, it said to be uh, conspicuous, conspicuous, tell, make known, to tell, declare, to tell, announce, report. Yeah, report. All right, give me Isaiah 53 out now why they still looking for the beast. It said to uh to publish, to proclaim, pretty much what it is. Isaiah 53. Yeah, Isaiah 53 and 1, because it said report, right? And that's what we're doing. We're a spiritual weather man. All right. When you turn on your uh, local news channel, it's called what? Re uh, news reporting. All right? And what do they tell you? They tell you weather. They tell you whether or not it's gonna rain, see or snow before it ever comes to pass. Yes, today, you know, this stupid ass weather that we got here in Memphis, Tennessee, they declaring that it's gonna snow today. All right, later on this evening. If you just in a, a 70 degree uh, a week, and all of a sudden it's dropping down into the 20s, man, which is furthermore signs of the times, man. Okay? It's gonna snow tonight. That's a bullshit, man. Exactly, exactly. You know, and then it's gonna be 70 degrees all over again come Monday. You know? Go ahead, what you got right like now? This is Isaiah 53, 1. Who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Who is to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Right? It says, surely he will do nothing, but he do what? Reveal it his secrets to his servants, the prophets. That's the answer to that question. Now let's get that uh revelation. Revelations. 13 and 1. Okay. I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea. Right. Who is this? This is John the Revelator on the island of Patmos. John uh, the Revelator is one of the prophets that the Lord revealed his arm to. Okay. That arm goes into, into that arm goes into his power. All right. Go ahead. Having seven heads and ten horns. Right. Having seven heads and ten horns. Okay. That beast represents who? Uh, the Roman Empire, okay? The Roman Empire coming up again today in the form of NATO and the EU, right? This goes seven heads for who? All Edomite kingdoms, all Edomite empires, beginning with who? The Greeks, the Romans, okay? Then you had uh, Germania Major, Germania Minor, right? You had the French, the Spanish, and, the, and, uh, and, the, and Great Britain, all right? The British, those were all Edomite kingdoms, all right? That, that beast is also known as what? Uh, uh, the dragon. And it describes that beast as what? Red. Who is described as red in the scriptures? Who is the prominent figure in the scriptures? What nation of people is the prominent figure in the scriptures described as red? Adawam. All right? Edom. People were Adawam, which means red. So that beast represents a kingdom. Okay? Go ahead. Upon his horns, ten crowns, and upon his heads, the name of blasphemy. Yep, go ahead. The beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bird. The leopard represents the Greeks, Alexander the Greek, okay? Which he was known for wearing 
a, a leopard covered uh, war helmet, okay? And the feet is dealing with the bear. All right, I mean, the bear, dealing with the feet representing the bear is Russia, okay? Well, Russia represents that bear because the end and the fall of this kingdom is going to be at the hand of the Russians, okay? Now, the Russians are not a part of NATO and the EU, but they are an uh, Edomite nation that's going to cause this beast system to fall, okay? It's going to ultimately be responsible for the destruction of the beast. Go ahead. And his mouth as the mouth of a lion. As the Most High has put the spirit on these Russians as prophesied in the scriptures, he has stirred them up, okay? It is, it is prophesied for uh, the destruction to come from a north country. The destruction of America to come from a north country. That northern country is who? The Russians, man. All right? Which ain't nothing uh, but Edomites. The Lord said he's going to turn the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Okay? So that, that bear dealing with the uh, feet, okay, is Russia. Go ahead. The dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. Yep. And I saw one the of the dragon goes goes back to what? The Roman Empire. Was during the time of the Romans, you had a man by the name of Draco, right? Draco, right? He was known for uh, uh, harsh laws, okay? Because that's what Draco, uh, 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 Dra Draconian, that's where you get the word Draconian laws, right? Go ahead. And I saw one of his heads and it were wounded to death. I saw one of the heads as if it was wounded to death. Go ahead. And his deadly wound was healed. And his deadly wound was healed. The Roman Empire was healed, man. Right? Okay, because during the time of the Dark Ages, right, from the time of about 325 A.D., uh, really up into the uh, to the 1400s, uh, uh, this uh, Roman Empire was falling, man. Okay, which was what? Uh, it was the uh, Western Roman Empire. Okay, now the Holy Roman Empire, right, under Constantine uh, uh, the Great. All right, those were Jakes, man. Okay, those were Jakes that you had in rule during that time. That's the uh, Dark Ages. That's the Dark Ages. Uh, what Byzantine. they call medieval, medieval times. Byzantine Empire. The Byzantine Empire. Uh, rule up in uh, Europe, Scottish, and all that, man. Yep. That when Esau was pushed into another grave, uh, speak about Revelation the 20th chapter, man. Yep. He couldn't see the nations no more. But that wound is here now, man. Yep. When uh, we both, when Christopher Cologne came on the scene. Man. Reincarnated. Yep. Reincarnated. Yep. It's Christopher, Christopher Cologne, uh, who they call Christopher Columbus. He really was a, a, a Jewish Spaniard. He really, he really was a, a fake Jew, man. Okay? And all those ships that you so called Negroes, all right? And even, even you uh, so called Puerto Ricans and Hispanics was on, on, on some of those ships, man. Okay? Coming over here to the Americas, North, South, and Central America, right? That uh, what you had? You had what you had called what the Spanish Inquisition? Yeah. Okay. Cristobal Columbus was a uh, part of that, man. Okay. The, 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 the Spanish, which is one of those seven heads. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, uh, Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, uh, reverse, uh, uh, slave trade. It was a first slave trade. Also, the train to the train, all of it. Yep. Yep. So, hey, yeah, we're getting shipped off that way. We're getting shipped out here. Hey, we, hey, it's what's got everywhere, man. Yep. <laughs> which, uh, which, is, which is nothing but another part of the Lord's power. Exactly. Because he prophesied uh, in Deuteronomy 28 chapter, was we re rebelled against his word and his law, statutes, and commandments, that we were going to be scattered. Yep. Right? And we were going to become a, what? A reproach. Right? And we were not going to uh, be known amongst the nations. All right? Go ahead. This is Revelation 13 and 3. And I saw one of his heads, and it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the beast. Go ahead. And they worshiped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. Yep, the Roman, the Roman Empire. Because you understand the infrastructure of America is all based upon the old Greek and Roman way of life. You know, the democracy, the Senate. Uh, what else? Uh, the, the, yeah, the, whole, the whole school system, the money. Uh, yeah, everything goes back to Rome. Yep, everything money. goes back to Rome. The, the Coliseums. Yeah, uh, the Democrats and the uh, you know, Democrats and Republicans go back to the plebeians and patricians. That's 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 that whole Senate. Okay, go ahead. 
And they gave, and they worshiped the beast, saying, who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him? Right, and who's able to make war with the beast? The saints, okay? Beginning with your house shot, okay? We, well, we're, what we're doing is making war with the beast as we speak. Promising the beast downfall, exposing the beast for who it is. Because for so long, these, uh, uh, this kingdom, all right? This Edomite uh, uh, supremacy kingdom has been ruling under deception, all right? Has been ruling in, in darkness. And now the, the, the act of war against the system is shedding light on who they are, all right? And who's doing that? The prophets. Give me Deuteronomy, I mean, slot. Give me Daniel 2 and 22. Go ahead. This is Revelation 13 and 5. There was given unto him a mouth speaking great things, yep. and blasphemies and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. Go ahead. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against Yahweh by Shema Shah to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Right. You you got to get to the part. You you not at the part. You got to go to. Uh, I want you to talk to the part where it talks about those uh, one ears. Yet it's talking about America. The seventh is of the eight. Seven is, uh, the eighth is of the seventh. Yeah. No, go ahead. This is Revelation 17 and 11. There we go. And the beast there was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seven and goeth into perdition. Right, that's talking about America, okay? Because America is nothing but those uh, Edomite empires uh, coming back. Okay, it's of the, it's of those seven kingdoms, man. Okay, it's the same nation, it's the same people. Oh shit! All right, and America also came out of what Great Britain. All right, go ahead. And the, uh, go ahead, finish it. Then you got. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet. Right, it was going into what the European Union. All right. The European Economic EEC, European Economic Community, all right. In which that that's the what? Uh, that's the uh, the NATO is the military portion of it, and uh, the, the Economic European Community or the e, uh, the EU. That's the uh, pretty much the legislation side of it. Right? Okay, go ahead. But receive power as kings one hour with the beast. Right. So they have a short time, right? America, uh, uh, time to reign is short. It's already set, all right, to only be for one hour. As the scriptures prophesied that this place is going to be destroyed in one hour, man. Okay? Go ahead. It should be loose for a little season. Yep. Go ahead, Yep. This is Daniel chapter 2, verse 22. He revealed the deep and secret things he know of. What is in the darkness, in the light, dwelling with him. Right. And that light, right, it dwells, it dwells in us, all right? As Yahweh Shah said, he is the light of the world, all right? And that light dwells within us. Give me Revelation 19 and 10. Because we have the report. A, 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 a testimony goes into a report. Okay, when somebody says they have, have a testimony, essentially what do they do? They go out and report something. Okay, they report and tell uh, uh, tell of things that happened in a vision that they had or something that happened to them uh, at a certain point in time about what's to come. Okay, which John the Revelator had a testimony. All right, and that was what around the time of 90 AD, and he prophesied all all that all that time back then. Of the, of the things that's going on right here in what 2022 AD, man. Go ahead. This is Revelation 19 and 10. And after I fell at his feet to worship him, he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and thy brethren that have the testimony of thou shot. Right. So an angel came to John the Revelator and told him, I am your fellow brethren. All right. Don't bow to me. Meaning what well, we're not to worship angels because the angels. Prophets and the men of the Lord on the earth possess that same power that uh, the Heavenly Father uh, 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 is distributed to them, man. We're pretty 
much angels on earth, okay? We have the same testimony that the angels in heaven had, all right? Lord willing, we are the elect. We, are, we want to keep that testimony. We're going to stand firm with that testimony, you know? Go ahead. Worship Yahweh by Shema Washah, for the testimony of Yahweh Washah is the spirit of prophecy. All right. So what we're reporting is the power of the Heavenly Father, all right? Which we receive from Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah is the reason why we were even able to access this power, to even open up the book and understand these uh, the dark parables and allegories and symbolisms, man. Right? Go ahead. That was it? Yeah, that was it. All right. Uh, matter of fact, jump. You still at Daniel, the second chapter? Yeah, that was Go ahead and jump to uh, uh, this Hosea 12 and 10. I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. And I'll teach, I sent my prophets to warn you with many visions and parables. Yep. And see, the thing about it is, people try to deny these visions. They call us bums, you know, they call us crazy, call us loony. We'll take all of that. But at the end of the day, the Lord said his counsel is going to stand. We are part of that counsel with the angels in heaven, man. Yeah. Right? And there's nothing that has not uh, uh, come to pass, like I said before, that's written in that scripture. That's written in the scripture. All right? Either, either it's already come to pass or we presently living in the, the fulfilling of the prophecy or we are waiting for certain prophecies to be fulfilled. And even uh, uh, the major prophecy that we see now, uh, the main two, all right, one being that uh, uh, MOTB, which is going to come into fruition, which is what, uh, the Karagma pertaining to Revelation 13 and 16, which is going to come into fruition as this kingdom falls and the uh, economic system of America falls, the money is, is, is phased out into a digital uh, uh currency man okay the fiat money the greenbacks that you spend now is going to be phased out into uh, a digital currency man okay and that's going to be the new means of buying and selling that's right hold it in revelation 13 16. okay so what does scripture say where do you hear or where do you fulfill because jay's one did not prophecy well, hey, his word gonna stand. They said, where did they hell? Where did they fulfill? And all the unfaithful going down there on faith man. You see? You can't, you can't deny you have so much sight on word, man. It's power, man. It's undeniable, you know? You see the chariots, the so-called UFOs. You see the prophecy speaking. It's, it's at the end, it's just speaking that lot. The book of heaven, man. You know, you have the wars and wars and wars. You go crazy in that one places. You know, bulls shortages. This is Revelations chapter 13, started at 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as and the image. image of the beast is speaking, man. It's speaking now, and, and it's not sensual way for you, you know. You know, since, uh, Jesus hang on your wall, you know. He, he is talking to you, man. <laughs> you know, this image is speaking, man. Going to the, the ways of uh, the philosophy, going back to all uh, ancient world, man. You know, the pagan world, man. Go ahead. And that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right, you don't want to bow down to a bell, you know. You don't want to take the, uh, the almighty microchip. Hey, you going to have to die, man. You're going to either get down or lay down pretty soon, man. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right. And that's going to be the new legislation. All right. The new legislation is going to be if you want to uh, be able to uh, uh, make it in this society, you want to be able to uh, have a livelihood in the in this society, in this government, you're going to have to get that mark, all right? You're going to have to get that imprint. You're going to have to get that universal product code, okay? 
Hence, the universal protocol is gonna come with a universal based income, all right? And now there's even information out coming to the uh, forefront about the legislation that they recently passed in last year, uh, or they working on. I don't know if it's been passed, don't quote me on that, but I know they are working on where not only can they dictate how much you're gonna be able to spend, they're gonna be able to dictate what you can buy, how often you can buy it, okay? So it's gonna be a social uh, infrastructure attached to this uh, corral, okay? To this mark, okay? Go ahead. And then no man might buy or sell, said he that had the mark. So if you don't have the mark, all right, you're not gonna be able to uh, take part in the economy. You're gonna have to live off the grid. Really, you're gonna have to live by faith. If you really go into living off the grid, that means really living according to faith, living according to the spirit, man. Okay? Because the, 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 the whole thing about the spirit is spirit, the spirit of all my is in tune with nature. Alright? It's in tune with organic life. Alright? The wicked are against everything that's organic. Okay? Case in point, you know, so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm riding this Edomite, and he's talking about how the, the effects of trying to make everything organic is too expensive, right? Because you're gonna have, you need more hands-on labor. You can't use, you can't use the pesticides. I mean, you gotta have more hands-on labor for everything to be organic. Yet, here it is. You have a whole homeless and unemployed people okay that, that, that sound like a fucking devil right when you got when you got and yet all the damn food that you're mass producing in these fast food restaurants you won't even give them to the homeless you're throwing that shit, out. You're throwing that shit away by the billions all right yeah you want to talk about <laughs> the effects, the negative effects of an organic world. There's nothing negative about an organic world. Only in the mind of a perverted fucking demon like Esau, even the so-called white man, would did not make sense for everything to be organic, all right? Hence, the mark of the beast is artificial intelligence, man. Okay? Because Esau really is an artificial man. He's, 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 a, he's an artificial creature altogether. He's lower than even, even uh, a dog, a, 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 a raccoon. He has less order than a goddamn, uh, 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 <laughs> any creature on the earth. He, he has less order than any creature on the earth, man. Okay? So everything that this man does is say, uh, uh, woe to them that work iniquity upon their beds is about creating Go ahead. And he that had said, I'm gonna reread it. This is Revelation 13 and 17. And then no, 16 again. Okay. This is Revelation 13 and 16. Because of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and born to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That no man might buy or sell, said he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right, and that number is what? And here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is 600, three score and six. Right. And that number is attached to his sorcery. So they desensitize you and try to brainwash, brainwash you, okay, uh, with sorcery and witchcraft. That's why when the pandemic hit, everything was about six. You know? Six feet. Six feet. You know, they was pushing that six feet. And even when uh, they was pushing the uh, the jab, okay, the juicy juice, they were saying what? Uh, Biden came on and said what? Uh, we're gonna get everybody jab, even if it takes uh, six days, six, six weeks, or six months, okay? So they, they constantly uh, throwing that six out there, man, because that's his number, all right? And it's gradually. I think it's set to say COVID now. Did we, hey, hey, they stopped talking about it, man, since the Ukraine. Right, Russia, yeah. Yep. I think it's safe to say it, man. I mean, you may have to tell 
Yeah. Yeah, but everything is done strategically, man. You know, weaken the economy. You know, see, it was already set up uh, by the bankers to, to go into these wars. Okay, the bankers are, are the ones that ultimately uh, pull the string of these puppet leaders, like uh, Vladimir Putin, like Kim Jong Un. Matter of fact, get that. If saves kingdom, Spain, yeah, yeah, how can it stand? Yeah. Right? Come. And that's what it is, man. It's nothing united about this uh so-called United uh, States of America. Alright? Legislation is different from state to state and, and, and in some cases from, from county to county. You know, even within states. Alright? Uh, case in point. You can be in one county and go to the liquor store, right, and, 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 and the same state, and then go to another county, all right, or go to another city in the same state, and it's a dry county. You can't buy liquor at all. You got to go to a whole other county to even buy liquor, right? So they're not uh, on accord in uh, understanding. They don't agree upon anything, man. They're totally and utterly divided. That's why they're losing their power, because that's 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 the uh, that's what Yahweh Shah said about uh, a kingdom. All right, if Satan be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Go ahead. He found in twenty four. Where you at? Uh, at the point of twenty six. Where you at? Uh, Mark three and twenty six. Go ahead. This is Mark three and twenty four. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Now, what what is ultimately divide? America, its laws, its legislation, all right? Doing doing things uh, like even, even you know, the whole system they got set up is to cause division. Oh, you got the Republicans, you got the Democrats, all right? Which which is all wickedness, okay? It's, 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 the, it's the same shit, all right? Uh, with, a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a different code, okay? And the English are the speaking. He's saying it, man. It's long started, man. Everything here is speaking. Go ahead. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. Right. So you got, you know, even within a beast system, you got certain nations that's, that's, that's uh, uh, dropping out of NATO, you know, still part of the EU. You know, you had uh, the Brexit, okay, uh, 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 the Britons. Uh, they didn't got out of the bed with America, okay? And they used to be allies, man, okay? So these are all, this whole Edomite infrastructure, this whole Edomite kingdom, and its heads are in war with each other. They're divided amongst each other, okay? Because uh, they ultimately, uh, uh, in, in straits when it comes to setting up their new world order. Job 20, 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Right, he's in, he in straits. Okay? And that's really talking about the elites. They are in straits. You know, they, it's really like uh, a red team versus a pink team. Because <laughs> we're going to stay in there red or something. You know, we don't even want to say blue. But red versus uh, 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 pink, man. Okay, they wanted this side of the, of, the, of, the, of the elites want to do it this way, this side of the elites want to do it another way, man. Okay, and the Most High is causing that division. Why? Because of prophecy. It was already declared, right? It was already reported that this was going to happen, all right, from the beginning. He declared Esau's end from the beginning of how he was going to go down. Go ahead. Come on, man. <laughs> Every hand of the wicked should come upon him. Right, which means the labor. Okay, and it's really, and it's really dealing with, uh, it's really when you go into it, it's really dealing with us prophets, man. All right, we're the true laborers, right? We're the ones that's really standing up uh, against the workers of the niggas. 
Check this out. Then, uh, uh, that's that's not what I wanted. What is it? Uh, Daniel seven twenty five. So lot. You should think to change times and laws, right? Yep. This, this is Daniel chapter seven, verse twenty five, and he shall speak great words against the Most High. Right, and say he, and when we read in Revelation, say well, he had a mouth of blasphemy. Yeah. All right, blasphemy is is ultimately lying against the Most High, man. Okay, go ahead. It shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times in the law, mm -hmm. and they shall be given into his hands until a time and times in the dividing of time. Right, was that going to three hundred and fifty years? We were given into the hands of the wicked. Okay. Meaning what? We were totally, uh, utterly docile to this man's uh, deception, his wickedness, his power over us. Okay? We, we didn't understand who our enemy was until the 1970s, man. Okay? 1969, 1970, man. Okay? That's when we began to, to rise back up to our forefather, uh, if we can receive it. Uh, Abba Bivens, okay, who was Elijah the prophet, John the Baptist, man. Uh -huh. and, that, and that's prophecy. And that's prophecy. Revelation 11 chapter. And that's right? prophecy. Uh, Revelation 11 and 8. Yeah, 11, uh, yeah. Read that again. I want to make a point before you go into that. Go ahead. This is Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. It shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws. Right. So now when America came into power, the uh, the backbone or uh, should I say the foundation of their so their so called legislation was supposed to be what? The Holy Bible, right? Now the the, the the Holy Bible is a book of laws, statutes, and commandments, right? Now there's a way that you're supposed to deal with life. When you are in the power seat and you're governing over the people of the earth, it's a way that you're supposed to deal, and that way is written within the uh, Holy Bible. All right. So when you have servants, you have to pay your servants, right? You, you, you have to, in, in some form or fashion, you have to pay your servants, and it's a way that you pay them. Okay. At the end of the day, all right? And this is supposed to have uh, true substance not be our money okay so they went away from the gold standard way who when they go away from, who was it when they went away from the gold standard? i can't remember the date uh but i want i want to say it was in the uh in the 50s okay they went away they went away from the gold standard. it might have been before then don't call me on that but they went away from the gold standard because gold is real money okay gold silver Okay, and what they ultimately done was uh, 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 turn true money into a paper currency so that they could further deceive you. 1933, 1933 right? So that they can further uh, 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 deceive you uh, into uh, believing that you have true assets and true wealth, man. Okay. So they keeping all the resources to themselves, all right, because that's power, right? And that's prophecy. That's in James. Yep, man. Get that James, uh, with that, uh, five, yeah, five, yeah. five, right? Go ahead, go ahead. It said, when war, war, war broke out, the U.S. and European countries suspended the gold standards so they could print enough money to pay for their military and Right? And what 
way. Resources, true resources, all right. Now, and you supposed to pay them <laughs> before the sun go down. <laughs> go ahead, you need to do the running. This is Deuteronomy chapter 24, verse 15 in the NLV. Pay them their wages each day before sunset. Pay them their wages each day before sunset, man. Okay. check a week two weeks later all right then you get your then you a month later you know you get it they didn't already took out of it all right first of all if, if you holding my money a week you're supposed to pay me extra ain't that what he ain't that what he do if he loan you something this motherfucker loan you something you gotta pay them back with interest right. but he pays you uh, he pays you uh, after the fact that you done your labor for them, right? And then it takes out of it before you even get, you know, what you made. You know, get what you deserve. Yeah, you make overtime, but get what you earn, brother. You're gonna take more. You know? So the whole, the whole system that Esau set up is a whole complete system of usury, man. It's corrupt. It's a corrupt. Right, get that James. This is James chapter five, verse one. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your mysteries that sh miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted. Your know, horses are corrupted, man. This monopoly money, this blood money, it's wicked, man. You know, you got all the out of K on each other. You know, the NWO, the fucking pyramid, this right there. This wicked, man. This ain't true, buddy. Now he want to make it digital, man. Money that you can't see. Your garments are moth-eaten, moth right. and your gold and silver is canker, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire, and ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Hey, that's prophecy. He's heaped treasures together for the last days, man. All right? And not to know that the whole reason that he's heaping those treasures together. Give me some rock to 10th chapter. See, the most high got him, most high got him in the trick bag. Most high got his numbers. Yep. And then that's spiritual too. Just like we left on ancient Egypt, what did the Egyptians do? They gave their gold over to us. So Esau, the gold you uh, collected is for us, man. You're going to give that away to us, man. No, you ain't gonna, hey, I, I, I give you this go, you don't uh, put me in. No, you, you out, you mine anyway, you know? It's a answer me. I should give you the heat. You know? The go out of the oven is ours, man. The, the earth, what made for our seed. sakes, man. God. You can't pay us off, man. You can't pay us off, man. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. This is Sirach 10 and 8. Because of my honor, I will give you the This is Sirach 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. Got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. Right. So all this is tying in to the end of Esau. Right? And everything is on schedule. Right? When you look at Esau, because his power is based on his uh, economic system and his military might. Both are failing miserably. All right? Both are failing. It's ultimately leading to the kingdom being translated to the power of the Israelites starting with Yahweh Shah in the house of David, man. It's gonna come in, boy. In his likeness, Yahshua Shalomon, man. Shalomon, Nabiah, Yaqanun. Shalomon, my God. Shalomon, my God. So, in his likeness, Yahshua, on Ezekiel 28 and 3, Behold, they are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they, they, they can't hide from thee. With that wisdom and with that understanding that has gotten these riches, it has gotten gold and silver into their treasure. Yep. With, uh, so what the same chapter? Yep. By deceit. Yep. But it tells you what the uh, the knowledge of wickedness is not not wisdom, man. All right, because eventually, see, wickedness deals with lies and deceit, and eventually a lie has to uh, turn itself in. <laughs> Like, you know, yeah. but the truth don't have nothing to hide. 
this man don't really have a kingdom because he got to hide in his own kingdom. What king got to hide from his servants? An unjust king. I say because of un unjust dealings, all right, injuries and riches gotten by deceit. An unjust king has to hide his wealth, all right? Let's go, uh, what y'all got? Y'all got something? Go ahead, what you got? This is, this is Job 20 and 23, when he is about. This is Job 20 and 22, in the fullness of his sufficiency. Man, that's beautiful, because I wanted that uh, uh, every hand of the wicked should be upon him. Is that, that's going, that's going into that part too. Okay, go well read that again. Read that, read that, and then read, bring that out again. This is Job 20 and 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Yeah. And every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Now look up that word wicked because it goes into, into, into labels, right? And give me that scripture where it say, uh, uh, pretty much, uh, much tribulation. But it talks about we got to labor to get to the kingdom. Yeah, the labor that we have to get to the kingdom. Go ahead. This is the word wicked in Job 20 and 22. It means labor, suffer, or wretched. Yeah, labor, labor, laborer, laborer, right? So it really, it's really, it's really dealing with us, man. We're the reason why he's in straits, right? And he can't deny it. You know, this man cannot uh, 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 deny the power that the Lord has given us, right? He can try to ignore it, sweep us under the rug, all right? Take down our videos, but that just further proves that he's in straits, okay? Go ahead, you have more? Yeah. Go ahead. And when he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh Bashimah was shot to cast the fury of his breath upon him, shall bring it upon him while he is eating. This is Job 20 and 23, when he is about to fill his belly. Yeah, how about Shemal Bashash to cast the fury of his wrath upon him. I should be a little missile, It shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Exactly. You said you're not going to succeed in your NWO. You know, it sounds good. It sounds almost unbearable but the one thing that it is for sure is undeniable the lord said he was going to get that word undeniable the lord said he was going to work a work and, and no, get it, uh, matter of fact get it real quick how uh is it one is it 14 or is it five i think it's five, five. yep 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 this is Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 5. Behold, ye among the heathens, in regard and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days, which ye will not believe, though it be told you. Right. <laughs> so this is that work, right? The Lord told, uh, uh, told he said, uh, uh, a wicked generation seeketh for a sign but they shall uh, receive no sign but the sign of the prophet Jonas, 
all right, which ultimately goes into the prophets, all right? But we're coming back in that same lot as the prophet Jonas, the prophet Jeremiah, the prophet Isaiah, all right? The, 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 the prophet Habakkuk, okay? We're doing a marvelous work, labor. This is why he's in straits. <laughs> Go ahead. This is undeniable in the Miriam West prediction is. Brother, get asked the fourth chapter to start at 11. Go ahead. It means plainly true, unquestionably excellent or genuine. Uh-uh, plainly true. Yeah. See? And, and no matter how much you try to deny it, you know, you get these guys like uh, uh, Vocab Malone, uh, you know, these different Christians, all right? These different uh, uh, naysayers. They try to come up against it. And the more they come up against it, the more that they are confounded. Right? Can't do nothing uh, against this truth. The Lord. Man, it's so powerful. It's like Pookie on crack in New Jack City, man. Every time, every time we shut down Vocab Malone or any other these naysayers, they try to come up to the camp and disprove of what we say. Right? What happens? They ass tuck in their tail, walk down the street, and next thing you know, a month, a couple weeks. Month, maybe two months later, they right back. You're thinking they got another uh, edge on us or something, man. It's good to say you can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth, man. All right? Read the synonyms for undeniable. It's the synonyms for the word undeniable. Accomplished, certain, inarguable. Inarguable, man. And that's why we say, my motto here, that great millstone, if a nigga can't get it, we moving on. We not in the debate class, man. We are not the great debaters, all right? We don't have to. The truth is the truth, and when you know you got the truth, you don't have to uh, uh, question it, man. When you got the facts, all right, it don't need to be fixed. Go ahead. I still I want them to, I want them to uh, hold it and get what you got right now. I'm going to read this NLT. Luke 21, 15, Beautiful. NLT. For I will give you the white words and such wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to reply or refute you. Give me Isaiah 54, 17. In the definition of refute, means disapprove, deny, Prove a statement or theory to be wrong or false. This is true. <laughs> you can't deny it. The boss house said he's gonna give us that irrefutable wisdom, irresistible, undeniable wisdom, man. Can't say no resist, man. There's nothing you can do about it. You gotta accept it and say no. <laughs> yeah, Isaiah 54 and 17. This is Isaiah chapter 54. Verse 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Right. So when you have the righteous judgment of your heart by seeing how it shine, there is no opponent. There is no opposition. That's why we always say, you're really your biggest enemy in this truth, because once you got the power of wisdom, not the understanding of the most highest judgment, his righteousness, nobody can take that from you but him. I don't even want to say you, really, but him. Yeah. But it, it's based upon your actions, okay? At the end of the day, you 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 can't start falling weak and getting faint-hearted, man. You can't start doubting once you see the adversary coming down with great wrath, all right? The Lord say, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Yeah. And the scripture said, you, um, you, um, your strength fell on the, um, damn, what? Fine. Go ahead, I, I know what it's in for. Go ahead. I just can't quote it. Go ahead. The beck and the synonyms for undeniable. Hey, sometimes it just ain't meant to be quoted. <laughs> sometimes it's just meant to be read. That's what it that's what it is, bro. Go ahead. Positive, sure, unanswerable. <laughs> unanswerable. You get, you get, you get them that come up against you get those that come up against the truth, they don't got no answers. Christians don't got no answers. Here they make all these different videos and make all these statements. Vain statements, all right. Blowing uh, cold air. You can't. You ain't even hot air. They blowing cold air, all right. <laughs> Cause warm air rises. <laughs> cool. That's, that's why when you get up in the morning, 
and you sit your feet on the ground, it be cold. Yeah. The cool there, they be they blowing cool there. That shit falling. Yeah. Well, we 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 sending up that that, that fire from the how about seeing how was shot, man? All right, go ahead. Unchallengeable. Unchallengeable, man. You know. And see, if you get into if you get into want to go back and forth for some sort of uh, vain glory, all right. Really, you you you're not you're not fooling nobody but yourself. It's like you're trying to convince yourself because you're really fighting against the hand of the Most High. If you come to trying to get a nigga to understand something, man, we're not finna be doing debates with Sarnetta. We're not finna be doing a uh, live stream debates with uh, uh, Vocal Malone, man. We already know that nigga off. All we do is wait for this nigga to say something, all right? Then go to the scriptures and break it down. It's all about building up the believers. Them the niggas that don't get it, man. All right? The Lord say if uh, if, if these people don't receive receive you, shake the dust from your feet, man. You, you can get it. I got it. This part of us 24 and 10. If that faith in the day of adversity, that strength is small. Come on, man. And see, your strength is of yourself. Because the, the, the strength of your heart by she how shy is great. So if his strength is, 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 is abiding in you, if his spirit is abiding in you, then you're gonna be you wanna be a mighty vessel under honor to the most high. Alright? And the Lord is gonna uh, 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 make sure that uh his words ultimately are falling upon the ears that they need to fall upon. You don't, you, you don't got no reason to be trying to get somebody to uh uh you know understand this truth uh uh beyond measure. Right, like going beyond your measure to try to get somebody to understand this truth, man. That shit is just vanity, man. Yep, hey, it's good to say faith come by hearing the word. And ultimately, if they can't hear it, it's, it's because they don't have faith. The Lord they don't has, have the gift of faith. And the Lord has given them the spirit of slumber, yeah. eyes that they shall not see, and ears yeah. that they shall yeah. not hear until this yeah. day. Yeah. So who are you? Right, that's why we fishing for the elect. Hey, just like this fish up here and this spirit. Hey, this is the ultimate what we doing, man. Yeah. We fishing for the elect, ah, man. Yeah. This is all about the elect, man. All right, let's talk about it. Yeah. That's an unclean fish. We ain't fishing for no catfish. <laughs> Go ahead. That's what it is. Yeah. But, yeah. hey, that's what the kingdom of heaven is like. Yep. Unclean um, fishes. You know, catfish is coming in against Crabs. them. They're going to be thrown right back away in the yep. sea, man. Most of going to get rid of them. Yep. It's all about the elect. It's like, man. You got it. This is Matthew 13, starting at 10, and the disciples came and said, Hold on, hold on real quick. Look, look, look what you had. This is uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse, verse 14. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when you depart out of their house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Hey, that's plain. Whoever don't win, so what you still going in their house for? <laughs> what the fuck I'm at, at Sarnetta Studios for? He can't get it. You know? What am I going to go on a platform with uh, 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 Vocal Malone for? All right? It's like defend the gospel. So all the thing you really need to do is when they say something that's against the scriptures, is go into the scriptures and, and, and reprove it. All right? Hey, even the Lord said, let them alone. Blind leaders of the blind. They both will fall to the ditch. The scriptures say what? Reprove, rebuke. All right? With all long suffering, don't say nothing about debate. All right? Yep, because the scripture said, let every man be fully persuaded in their own mind. Yep. Now, I do say the, uh, debate thy cause, but you got Jake to take that out of, out of context, man. But anyway, go ahead, bro. That's not the power of the Lord, man. All right? You got to have balance. You got to have the understanding of uh, the Lord's judgment is, is, a, is, is balanced, okay? And in that balance, there's more of the uh, there's more of the people that he has blinded from his righteous understanding, and he has given the eyesight to see and understand his judgment. Right. All the people be saved. All the, yep, yep. This is Matthew 13 and 10, and the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them, it is not given. Right. You know, plain and simple. I don't know how that's so hard to understand. And then I don't understand how you can read that scripture and then turn around and say John 3.16 
for God so loved the world, that world is talking about everybody. No, that world is talking about them. Unto, unto, I mean, uh, unto you it is given, but unto them it is not given. It's talking about his disciples. It's talking about the ones that he, he, he loves. The ones that he prayed for. Go ahead. I got that word, Mr. You can get it. Which I know, I, I know, I, I, I'm bringing this out every time we go into this word. This is mystery in Matthew 13, and it means of Yahweh by Shema was shy, the secret councils which govern Yahweh. The secret councils. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. In dealing with the righteous. <laughs> dealing with the righteous. Which are hidden from So un if a nigga Ooh. can't get it, give me, give me Daniel 12 and 10. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If a nigga can't get it, that means a nigga wicked. That means he don't got a righteous spirit, man. That means his soul is not upright in him. That means he is of his father's, he is of his father, the devil. Yeah. And the will of his father he will do, man. Go ahead. Which are hidden from ungodly and wicked men. Which are hidden from ungodly and wicked men. Give me Daniel 12 and 10. Hold it. Daniel 12 and 10. Now you got your hand again. <laughs> it said, <clears throat> it said, many should be purified and made white. Right. And tried. Yep. But the wicked should do wickedly. Uh-huh. And none of the wicked should understand. But the wise should understand. Go back where you left off from and keep reading in that definition for mystery. Which are hidden from ungodly and wicked men, uh -huh. but plain to the godly. But plain to the godly. Right? It, it also tells you too it's not given to uh, ordinary. Yo, go ahead. Okay. Uh, now biblical uses a generally mysteries, religious secrets confided only to the initiated and not to the ordinary mortals. Not to ordinary mortals, but who are those uh, not ordinary mortals? Yasharala. Go ahead. Confided goes into uh, reveal or open one's heart to. Reveal or open one's heart to. That's it, man. The Lord said he's going to stir up our pure mind by the way of remembrance, man. All right? Uh -huh. Tell someone about a secret or private matter while trusting them not to repeat it to others. <laughs> what? What's that, buddy? Tell someone about a secret or private matter while trusting them not to repeat it to others. Trusting not to repeat you know, that's why Jake can't get it. That's why Jake don't have the names. He don't want to call on the names, man. That's why. You know, that's why we ain't telling them, man. You know what I said? They were when and, and, and went you, man. Mother of yeah. facing them, man. <laughs> you know, so hey, that was mystery and heavy, man. We say it's a uh, plain old. Let me grab that. This is, I, this is the definition for the word mystery of Yahweh, the secret counsels of government, Yahweh about Shema Bashai, and dealing with the righteous, which are hidden from ungodly and wicked men, but plain to the God. Alright, go ahead with that X4. This is, this is X chapter 4, verse 11. This is the stone which was set at not of your builders, mm -hmm. which has become heads of the corner. Which has become has become the head of the corner. All right? And it's talking about your hollow shot. Yeah. Right? That's who we are ultimately able to receive the mystery through because he uh, uh, opened the seals to the book. Okay? When you go into something that is sealed, what does it ultimately mean? Look up the word seal real quick. A seal is something that's sacred. Something sealed, I mean, it, 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 it has a, a lock on it. It's a seal in the etymology, especially one attached to a document as evidence or authenticity. Seal on a letter. To fasten with. To seal. To conclude. So you seal something up, it's going to you locking it, right? Go ahead. It's a fastener. It's a to make tight, secure, 
secure to close with as if with a seal uh -huh. to, to cover with varnish yeah right so ultimately it's something that's secure okay so this word was secure uh, with the whole body the whole shop and he opened it up to be revealed unto a, a certain sect of Israelites not even the entire nation but just his event right just like an envelope. Just like an envelope. It's addressed. The envelope has an address on it. All right. And it's sealed. Go ahead. If you see something else on and another uh, you know, another source, then you can uh, stop us and bring it out. But he's gonna keep going. Verse twelve. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Right, and that name is only given to, to those mysterious men. All right? Yeah. Go ahead, what's that? I got it in the blue there. Huh. Huh. This is the definition for the word sealed in the blue letter. It say the inscription or impression made by a seal of the name of Yahweh by Shem Shah and a Mashiach step upon their forehead. That's the whole key, right? Uh, and it talks about, when you're going to Revelation, it talks about uh, us having uh, the, the name sealed in our foreheads. I think it's uh, roughly quoting, you know, the, uh, the servants that had the, the 73. Yeah, go ahead. This is Revelation 73. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power, Yahweh Bashim in their foreheads. Right, right, man. Okay. So that's that, that's going into what our, our spirits being sealed with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Not ordinary, right? But a, 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 a special. We look and are perceived as ordinary men, and for the most part, we do ordinary things, except for this one extraordinary thing that we're able to do, and that's go into these scriptures and break them down. Undeniable, un undeniably uh, uh, giving you the truth, man. Verse 13, the scriptures tell us what? Uh, uh, that we ought to prove all things, man. Okay. Look, the four winds. Come on, man. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. And, that, and, and that's where we are. All over the earth. The four winds represents what? Uh, uh, all over the earth. Okay? Come on. All regions of the earth. Hey, going back to Revelation 7, the 7 chapter, you just said, come back to the fourth of the sea. So we have seven servants. Come on, man. Yep. The four winds also go into the destruction. Right. Because the angels are going to let loose the four winds once the servants are sealed. Okay? Yeah. Come on, man. Go ahead. Now, when they saw the boat, matter of fact, man, give me Proverbs 30 and 4. Shit. Oh, man. Woo. You can't, you can't make this up, man. Who has gathered the winds in his fist? They blow away his fist. Come on, man. No, it's yeah, prophesy to the wind. Prophesy to the wind. It's a spirit, but yep. you can't deny it. You can't deny it, man. Yep. You can't deny the spirit, man. Go ahead. This is Proverbs 30 and 4. Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Uh -huh. Who have gathered the wind in his fist? Who have gathered the wind in his fist, man? Okay. The, 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 the winds go into the spirit, right? And we are all the breath of the nostrils. Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. We were brought into existence through the breath of the Heavenly Father. Yep. Okay? And the first breath of the Heavenly Father was Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah, come on, man. You got to know who it is, man. You got to know the names, man. Damn, man. And you deny Yahweh Shah, he's going to deny you. You deny uh, his power, he's going to deny you, man. You can't be calling on no fucking Jesus Christ, man. That's a nobody, man. That's a demon. That's a big nobody. Go ahead. Who have bound the waters in their garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell? And the only way you're going to be able to tell, give me Acts 4 and 12 again and keep going. This is Acts 
chapter 4, verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men. Stop. There is none, uh, uh, there is none other name under heaven. What? Given among men. Given. Given. So how are you going to be able to tell what the Lord's name is? Uh, the heavenly father and his son's name is it's got to be given to you give me john 17. Yeah, it's got to be given to you man and this one it said there let you praise his holy name and the lord ain't dealing with ordinary <laughs> niggas he ain't dealing with he's not just don't deal with he's not gonna give his secrets he's not gonna give everything to just any old body man yeah it's like come a phone number come on man come on, give your phone number out there anybody Make it up, bro. You want to put you a team. You want to put you a team together. looking at uh you know what type of degree what type of educational background we got you know we ain't got no Greek letters phds and mbas and you know uh, uh <laughs> fuck out of here man you know, hey nobody gotta have that man you, that don't mean nothing man you know you gotta have the spirit of your heart by your son go ahead which the world cannot receive go ahead they marvel and they took knowledge. They did what? They marvel. They marvel, right? <laughs> Regard ye among the heathen. All right. Well, I will, I will, I will work, uh, uh, marvelous work. Okay. 
that same work is being worked today through those same spirits. The prophets are back in in, in their same lot today, man. And what did the Lord say? Granted, what should ye do? <laughs> yup. Go ahead, huh? And they took knowledge of them if they had been with Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. And they and they and they took knowledge that they had been with Yahweh Shai, right? Yeah. Because they saw the works that the apostles was doing. It was like, hold on, ain't that the same type of works that Jesus was doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Verse 14, and beholding the man which was here standing with them, they could say nothing against it. Mm -hmm. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, what shall we do to these men? For that indeed a notable miracle has been done by them is manifest to all of them that dwell in Jerusalem. And we cannot deny it. They Ooh. cannot deny it. <laughs> <laughs> but even though they couldn't deny it, they they had to be wicked and come up against it. Because that's their life. They the, like the, the, the scribes and Pharisees, they knew, they really deep down, they really knew who he, they knew he was the son of God, man. They couldn't deny it, but because it, it conflicted with their position within that uh, in, in, in that Roman uh, Empire, you know what I'm saying? Because they really thought that that was the kingdom. You know, they thought that they was going to uh, ascend uh, out of that time and that age uh, to the to the kingdom of heaven. You know, but it wasn't it wasn't that time because Yahweh Shai has to get it first, man. Okay, Yahweh Shah was always the one that was set up at the end of the day to get the uh, first deal, uh, so to speak, you know? He get the first portion. He has the greatest portion, you know? We just join heirs. We get what he distributes uh, unto us. Jump to Acts the fifth chapter, Acts the sixth chapter. Right, now we're gonna check out Stephen, start at verse eight. This is Acts chapter 6, verse 8. Because we just in case you know you are familiar with Acts the fourth chapter, that was talking about Peter. Okay? And the apostles. That was, that was talking about Peter, James, John, the apostles, man. Go ahead. This is Acts chapter 6, verse 8. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Then there arose certain of the synagogues which is called the synagogue of the Libertines yep. in the uh, Cyrenians, Cyrenians, the Cyrenians in the Ale Alexandrians, Alexandrians, uh -huh. and of the Cilicia, uh, uh, Cilicia, and of Asia disputing with Stephen. So they was disputing with Stephen, right? So all these, all these different. Uh, 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 Churches, all these different regions, all right, where you had Israelites were disputing with Stephen, right? These were wicked Israelites, all right? Hey, Salah, go, go, go back to the word undeniable real quick. Go to the synonyms, right? I want to say it's say indis uh, indisputable. Did you see indisputable? Yeah, right there. Indisputable. In indisputable, okay? All right, go ahead. Verse 10, and they were not able to resist the wisdom. <laughs> and they were not able, they were not able to resist the wisdom. Go ahead. In the spirit by which he spake. In the spirit by which he spake. Go ahead. Then the, the, then the sun, sunborn beings. Yeah, the suborn men. Yep. Then they suborn men which said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against the Most High. So now they lie. See, that's what they do. When they, when they, when they can't catch you up, all right, and they can't disprove what you say by, the, by what's written in the scriptures, when they can't uh, uh, prove what you say is wrong according to the scriptures, then they start lying and blaspheming. Then they did to your house. Always tempting them. So 
Time they're at, at this time they are now apostles, all right. Because it, it asked them, was it asked the first or the second chapter? That's when that mighty wind came, which was the spirit, all right. That spirit is what's irresistible. It's not, it's not us, it's not what we look like, it's not how tall we are, you know. It ain't got nothing to do with our appearance, right? Our background, <laughs> nothing, none of that. Because in that same chapter, Acts. Uh, second chapter, uh, Apostle Peter said, uh, save yourself from this untoward generation. Yep, untoward. Untoward generation. Yep. Untoward, go to a wicked generation. Yep. You know, how can you save yourself by taking heed to that much more shallow? You know? Well, we have heard him say that this Yahweh shot of Nazareth, Nazareth shall destroy this place and shall change the custom which Moses delivered us. Right, the Lord said, think not that I come to change the law. I came not to change, uh, uh, to think destroy. not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I came not to destroy the law, but to fulfill, man. They lied on the Lord, man. You know, go ahead. And all that sat in the council, looking steadfastly on him, saw his face as it has been the face of an angel. They saw Stephanie's face as if it was the face of an angel, man. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The main point, too, is a lot. They were unable to resist the wisdom and the spirit which he spake. We ended up reading the whole. I really <laughs> spoke, we supposed to stop four verses ago. But hey, that's beautiful, man. Okay? Because ultimately, like I was saying earlier, we're not we, we're angels in the we're, we're angels in the flesh okay the prophets are because uh, the word angel means messenger man okay? what did the lord call uh uh elijah who was set to come in this time he was see he, he was seeing his messenger before what the great and dreadful day of the lord man elijah embodies the prophets as a whole elijah represents the prophets just like moses represents the law man all right, we're going to end on uh, 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, right? Verses uh, 1 through 3. Go ahead. This is Malachi 4 and 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Right, the great and dreadful day of the Lord. When the Lord came back 2,000 years ago, it wasn't dreadful. Yeah. So hey, Elijah came back in this time frame via all the business, you know, in the 70s.
That's the word for message. Malachi. Yep. Like like uh Malachi. Messenger. Malachi. There you go. And this messenger representative, messenger angel, king. Because that's all synonymous. Yeah. See? Because uh, the, 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 the root of Nala Aka is Malak, right? That's king. Uh, Mala Aka is, what did it say? says, messenger, angel. Angel, man. So we're, we're angels, we're angels in the, in the uh, terrestrial world, man. Okay? That's why he told John the Revelator, uh, don't bow down and worship me. I'm your fellow servant, man. Come on, man. We got power, man, through the spirit of, uh, and, and the faith that the Lord has given us, man. Through the Holy Spirit and the faith that the Lord has given us, we got power, man. Undeniable power, man. Go ahead, bro. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 1. Yep. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellence of speech. Excellency of speech. Right? You see, certain brothers, you know, they don't. You know, they don't have the most eloquent, most articulate way uh, of speaking, right? That's the, the that's the Lord's way of, of getting the message out. He wants you to stumble at it, man. The Lord could have set up, uh, the Lord could have set up uh, professors, you know, highly esteemed, uh, uh, you know, a, su a super uh, 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 enticing, wordy individual. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know, he could have he could have set it up to you know be of men's uh, uh glory. He didn't set it up to be of men's glory, man. Go ahead. Or of wisdom declaring unto you the testimony of the most high. Declaring unto you the testimony of the most high. Go ahead. For I determined not to know anything among you, save you how Read that, read, read that verse in the NLT. Once you uh, finish reading it again, read it again from the top. So like, this is First Corinthians chapter two, verse two. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Yahweh Shah or Mashiach and him crucified. Right, he gonna get it in the NLT. First Corinthians two, verse two. This First Corinthians chapter two, verse two in the NLT. For I decided that while I was with you. I will forget everything except Yahweh Shah, the one who was crucified. Right. So nothing else matters at the end of the day. <laughs> the only thing is is that we preach Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? And his words are faithful and true. Go ahead. Verse 3. y'all brothers because y'all you, know, you you coming in and starting to teach and you've been teaching you know that first time when you teach you be trembling how you be trembling man <laughs> because that you know that spirit is is is, is, is uh, going through a process of being built up in you man okay so it, it's like the spirit overtakes you and you can feel it you like you almost like you you losing your breath trying to get the words out. I don't care how many times you you went over the night before the first time. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. The first time I talked, you know, it's with the uh, brothers in Arkansas. You know the elders in Arkansas, and we uh, uh they had me go into Revelation. You know, uh, revealing of Yahweh Shah, the image of Yahweh Shah, man. And I had rehearsed it for hours that night before. Got out there, man. I felt like, man. Like the world was falling on me, man. You know? And then once you once once you, once you get it out of the way, you know, you start uh get that first time teaching out of the way, you know, things start going a little smoother. The, 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 the spirit uh starts to increase within you, man. Okay? And you grow you grow uh humbly confident in the spirit, man. You know, not overly confident, not being lifted up uh, uh with pride as a novice, you know, because it can do that to you, you know. Go ahead. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4. And my speech and my 
are preaching was not with enticing words of man and wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit of power. Right. So it was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but, but by the demonstration of the spirit and power. So that's what you see going on. A demonstration of the spirit and power in Hawaii by showing you how to Yahweh, 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 Yahwe